word. Like maybe when I tell somebody I can make it to uh, see them at a certain time and my car breaks down. Now somebody might say, well, that's understandable, you got an excuse. Yeah, but it's still a breaking of an appointment where God, a car doesn't break down for him. Mm -hmm. It just uh, it took the punishment in our place. And now God punished Jesus for us so that we can be free and forgiven and have eternal life. And when he realized that, he came to see God as a loving God who wanted him in heaven. And he came to see God as a faithful God, that God had promised the Savior and God fulfilled his promise of the Savior. So Martin Luther, that was about 1500 or so, and, and uh, he and other people who then read the Bible and, wow, they, it was just like paradise was open for them. They were reading and they were going, this isn't just about rules. God has given us the law to show us our sin so that we can see how much we need a Savior and also show us how then to please God. We'll keep them the best we can, but we know that when we don't, we have a Savior who died for us. So they came to realize God is a loving and faithful God. All right, I asked, uh, what if you ask somebody on the street, now you said that there are all different kinds of people, so there's going to be all different kinds of answers. So keeping in mind all the different people and all the different answers, what kind of answers do you think different people would have for the question, who is man, or who is, who are Humanity. humans? What are humans? What do you think evil. they might? What? Evil. Okay, they might say there's a lot of evil that comes out of humans. All right. What else? Mm. Where did humans come from? Um, well, that's what the Bible. Great detail. <laughs> Genesis. In Genesis one one, it says. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. What is meant by the word create? Wednesdays is we normally have um, a structured schedule, mm -hmm. like I was mentioning to you. Now, it's hard uh, to put on kind of a, a pool school uh, because we're different at different levels, but that's okay. We'll start with the basics. At, at first, some of you, well, whatever. Justin actually decided to start with, we'll start with. And whatever um, you go, oh, I knew that, don't worry about it. We'll get to stuff that you don't know or that you need to practice more. All right, question. so, I got a question. Uh, just, a, what's your question? Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> Solid and striped game. Well, obviously, everybody here knows this is a pool table. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> I knew we'd have one what? shot first. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, so, well, how do your pool rules here after the break? <laughs> After the sure. break, well, why don't you just tell us what... And you got to get one in on purpose to get it? Yes. Okay. You have All to right. take one. Okay. Keep going. Well, and then you shoot your game. You, if you're solid, you stick to solid. You miss. It obviously goes to the other person. If they miss, it comes back to you. All the way down to the eight ball. If you scratch on the eight, you lose. Okay, now that's different from the rock rules. Uh, when you say scratch on the eight, guys, I think he's talking about if you uh, put the cue ball in when you're shooting at the eight, it's like a scratch. Okay. And then if you, though, put the eight ball in and you scratch, uh, then you lose uh, because you just put the cue ball in when you were shooting for the eight. Um, and the eight, of course, has to go in a, always must go in a hole that you call. Well, generally, I play the whole game on calls. Okay. Did you hear that, everybody? If you get to be a really good player, if you play the whole game, calling each ball into the hole. More ideas on how to be, become a really good player. Okay. So always remember that you're working ahead, um, three shots ahead, where you're going to uh, leave the cue ball. Right? Yeah. That's not what you call. That's true. You might want to call me just GH. Uh, but you can call me um, Greg or Mr. Horseman or GH, whatever is most convenient for you and comfortable. I want uh, to introduce other important people in one second. I'm very pleased to be here. I um, have been given the opportunity to uh, participate with you. And I'll talk more about that in a second. I finally have the opportunity to do this big work with you. Uh, I'm blessed to uh, just know how close. Mrs. Horseman has been to me and has taken care of me. Uh, and, uh, and other people like my uh, 
busy right here. Again, I'm going to do this in one second. Uh, have taken care of me and helped me. Uh, but it's all been a blessing. Although sometimes, if you look at it and think about it, it's like, I'm a painful blessing. Well, that's why God made it. And it has been a blessing. And I uh, encourage each of you to uh, let that the good things in your life as blessings. Be challenging things in life as a blessing. Uh, and because that's what they are. They're a blessing. Uh, when I, I recall being at the uh, hospital, and her, her taking me, uh, hearing uh, one of the physicians say to her, you should call and pray to the minister, because we actually have to have a, i.e., we think that this man is going to die. And so the fact that I'm alive is a blessing. Uh, and it is a blessing. Having a blessing. So, as I mentioned a couple of times, let me introduce you right now. I'm on. 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 i